everyone, it's really nice to see you. Um, I'm really sorry it's been such a long time since I've read a story. It's been a bit crazy at the powerhouse. Um, but I've got one for you today, and I know that it's one that we've read already, but it is one of my favourites. And uh, this is the one, do you remember when Freddie brought it in? I bought my own copy because I liked it so much. So it's called, you're called, what? Okay, I'll try and get you to see the pictures as much as I can. So it was another busy day in the Ministry of Silly Animal Names. For window number one, please. A little queuing up, see? Uh, I'd like to change my name, please, said the dog, who was next in the queue. Hmm, may I ask why? said the secretary bird behind the counter. Oh, because I'm a cockapoo. <laughs> <laughs> Laughed all the other animals with silly names. You see, said the cockapoo, whenever I say what sort of dog I am, everyone laughs. Well, I'd rather be a cockapoo than a monkey face prickleback said the monkey face prickleback, standing at window number two. <laughs> Laughed all the other animals with silly names. Well, that can't be a real name for an animal. Oh, it is, sighed the monkey face prickleback. Oh, well, I'd rather be a monkey face prickleback than a pink fairy armadillo, sighed the pink fairy armadillo at window number three. Laughed all the other animals with silly names. Mm. At least you're not a blue-footed booby, said the blue-footed booby at window number four. <laughs> <laughs> Laughed all the other animals with silly names. Mm. Well, at least you're not an ice cream cone worm, sighed the ice cream cone worm at window number five. Oh, at least you're not a shovel nose guitar fish, said the shovel nose guitar fish standing at window number six. <laughs> <laughs> Laughed all the other animals with silly names. Oh, imagine being called a blobfish, sighed the blobfish at window number seven. Laughed all the other animals with silly names. I mean, it's not even like I look like a blob, is it? Ahem, <clears throat> went all the other animals with the silly names. Well, I don't exactly look like a bone-eating snot flower worm, do I? Said the bone-eating snot flower, snot flower worm at window number eight. But it didn't stop me being called one. animals with silly names. Well, I'll give you a million guesses what I got called. Found the fish at window number nine. A fungus-faced flounder, <laughs> guessed the monkey-faced prickleback. A gungy gob-gobbed grouper, guessed the pink fairy armadillo. Tell us, said the blue-footed booby. Yeah, tell us, said the bone-eating snot flower worm. We promise not to laugh. A tasseled wobble gong, sighed the tasseled wobble gong. <laughs> <laughs> Laughed all the other animals with silly names. You called me what? Mm, I thought being a winkle sounded silly, said the winkle at window number 10. Oh, I thought being a fried egg jellyfish sounded silly, said the fried egg jellyfish at window number 11. But a tasseled wobble gong? No wonder everyone's laughing. Oh, I can't wait that bit. Oh, get ready to laugh some more. 
sighed the wasp at window number 12. My name is so silly, it's impossible to say without laughing. Well, what, what kind of wasp are you then? asked the fried egg jellyfish. I'm an ahaha wasp, said the wasp. Ahahahahaha, laughed all the other animals with silly names. No, ahaha, frowned the wasp. <laughs> laughed all the other animals with silly names. No, not an ah ha ha ha, ah ha ha, ah ha ha, ah ha, is it the wasp? An ah ha ha, ah ha ha laughed all the other animals with silly names. Right. That's it, fumed the ahaha. Uh, ha. I'd like to change my name immediately, please. Of course, said the secretary bird at window number 12. And what would you like your new name to be? Dive. I love that story. And look. All of the animals in the story are real life, really alive, real animals that live in this world. Isn't that good? Okay, so um, things are about to be a bit different for some of us. Some of us are going to be going back to school. I'm not going back to school yet, but I will be in a couple of weeks' time. Um, and I don't know what it's going to look like then either. I know that right now, the classroom looks really different. Um, but Mrs Baker's going to be in school and she tells me that she's got lots and lots of fun things planned for you. So if you're going to school, it will be different. But there are lots of nice things for you to do. If you're staying at home, then please carry on looking at the website and seeing what jobs there are on there. Or do your own thing. But either way, I would love, love, love to get an email from you um, just to let me know what you're doing. You don't have to email me every day. Just email me every now and then because I miss your gorgeous faces. Um, and I'd love to know what you've been up to. So hopefully, um, well, I'll be in school soon and you might see me back at school soon. Or um, you can send me a lovely email and I will email you back. I promise. Um, I hope you're all safe and your families are all safe. Remember to be kind. I know it's hard when we're all stuck in the same house together, but be kind to each other, it's really important. Um, and have lots and lots of cuddles. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye, goslings.